Thanks, mature content. Whoa. Mature content on a PlayStation? Imagine that, Jack. Imagine that. More Astrobot. Bump it up to 1080 so I can actually post this. There you go. Hell divers. Of course, they're gonna promote the living fuck out of Astrobot immediately. What a shock. Five new online speedrun levels. That's good. I'm, I'm glad Astrobot is getting support, you know? Because it normally isn't the case. <laughs> At least it shows that Sony gives a shit. Let's blow myself up a little. There you go. Ten new boss to rescue. <laughs> Oh, that was uh, E from Stellblade. A Helldiver. Nice. I love the fact that they added E from Stellblade, though. That's that's pretty funny. Astrobot. Free add-on coming fall 2024. I mean, look, Astrobot hey uh, was winning. Okay. You couldn't be happier with reception to Astrobot and to see how much joy Astro is This game did very fucking well. On behalf of Team Asobi, thank you so much. Now, we still have a few surprises up our sleeves. Today's trailer with a sneak peek at the DLC we release later this year. At a no sneak peek, huh? Cost. We'll have more to share soon. Free DLC! So now, let's enjoy the state of play. Now I'm curious what's gonna happen, because uh, I have no faith in this shit. <laughs> Especially after how the reveal of the PS5 Pro went. Listen Holy shit. To me, burnt one. If you intend to walk the midnight walk, you better be sure to keep your spark safe. Been so what's this then? The creators of Lost and Random. Oh! Official sequel for Lost and Random? Comes a game handcrafted in clay. Nice. A tale of Fire. PlayStation VR 2? Aw, oh, come on. Really? You, you gotta be fucking kidding me. You can't just. You can't tease me like that, Sony. Come on. <laughs> the fuck? Sony was teasing me very fucking hard right there. Play on PS5 and oh oh wait okay so it is without VR as well. well thank goodness. Actually liked R Lost in Random. Hey, John. Fast travel games. PS5, PlayStation VR. I like claymation. I'm a sucker for those kind of animations. I love claymation. All right, let's. What are you gonna show me next? When it happened, but I remember how I felt. Uh oh. Father told us to hide when they came to our house. Appreciate it, John. Appreciate it, mate. That doesn't ring a f she said the country was sick. Oh, they will come. But we would be okay. Mother Wait a minute. Said monsters didn't exist. I thought they lived under my bed. We were both wrong. They live inside our heads. What is this? I thought, uh, you, know, f you know, for a second when I heard the music, I thought it was Death Stranding 2. Oh, this is, isn't this? No, okay, I thought that was Stalker for a second, but then I was like, nah, wait a minute. <laughs> huh. Interesting. Hell. Yes. I've seen this. I could have sworn I've seen this before, but 
I don't know. We got a drone. Hell is us. Okay. Never heard of that before, but it sounds intriguing. Rogue Factor. Oh, Nacon is publishing this one. Interesting. Inspired by the inter internally best selling novel. Ah, uh, it's um, Metro. Metro VR? Yep. Call it. <laughs> Metro VR. Here we go. If you haven't read this, the, the um, Metro books uh, chat, I strongly recommend them. They're really good. Ugh. Why does it always have to be so fucking gory? <laughs> what are the odds of Half-Life being here? <laughs> I know it's a, it's a Steam game, but still. Did you not hear any of that? Yana, is that you? I'm seeing things. I'm hearing things. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Sometimes we need to become. I like the Metro games. They're pretty solid, honestly. Uh, to prevent something worse. Something worse. Metro Awakening. Well, coming to November 7th. That's. Wow. That's like literally around the corner. Man. So. That's another game. Oh. No. You humans slaughtered each other until the whole world lay in ruins. What is this? And yet, you have been granted another chance in Aurora. It must be the will of your beloved mother goddess. However, I still have no trust in your kind. For a second, I thought it was like um, for Anna. Man, this bit really shit. <laughs> I'm not being funny. It, it, it is terrible. Let me see if I can bump it up a little. 1440p. Yeah, that's that's the way to go. Or maybe not. Yeah, it's an online multiplayer game. Of course, it is. Nah, to everyone's surprise. Prove yourself. If you survive this pirate ship, so Archage Chronicles. Okay. It's going to PS5. I'm assuming it's going to be on PC as well. Power World! Power World is coming to PlayStation. Would you look at that? Well, that, that's the most unsurprising reveal, to be honest with you, because this bit has been teased for a while. Sony would be stupid to not have that game on there. I mean, they can't have Pokemon, so you might as well go with Power World. Gonna be a bit of a doozy if uh, Power World needs, uh, needs to take their shit down because of Nintendo, though. Considering we've got the impeding lawsuit and everything. Is this gonna be a little rough? Yeah, cool stuff. So I might, I might actually be able to play Power World now. Because <laughs> my laptop sure as hell cannot run it properly, so. Man. So when's that gonna come out? Today? Shut your front door. Really? Thanks to Pocket Pair for that new look at Pal World, an incredible open world survival game that's launching today on the PlayStation 5 console. All right. We have a few more games with breaking news today, starting with the return of two beloved RPGs from the original PlayStation. Wait a minute. Your dreams, magical thoughts, what? Luna? Holy shit. I haven't seen that in years, dude. That's, that's that's been ages ago. Lunar Remastered Collection brings together Lunar, the Silver Star Story Complete, 
and Lunar 2 Eternal Blue complete with updated visuals. Okay, okay, that's 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 the game I did not expect to come back. That's very interesting to see that coming back. Uh, even as like the old 90s art style like from the Pokemon uh, like animations. 2025. 2025. Two updates on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. Let's go. First, the Radical Reptiles DLC, which adds Mondo Gecko and Mona Lisa as playable characters. Really? Okay. And for no extra cost, a remixed in-game soundtrack featuring some amazing guest composers. Yo. Both of these updates arrive later today. Wait a minute. Today? Shut up. Oh no. Shadow the Hedgehog is coming back? Fuck yeah. And yes, you heard right. Keanu Reeves is joining Sonic X Shadow Generations as part of the upcoming Sonic the Hedgehog 3 movie pack. Ah, oh, shut the fuck up, really? <laughs> that's that's fucking genius right there. December 12th. The Sonic the Hedgehog 3 movie pack is included in the digital deluxe edition, which lets you play the game three days ahead of its October 25th okay. release. That, that's cool. That, that's a legit cool tie-in right there. Oh yeah, the um, what's it called again? Hello, state of play. I'm Sakaguchi, a producer of Fantasy and Neo Dimension. Sakaguchi, hey, the father of Final Fantasy. Fantasy. 150 handmade yeah. areas. Let me move this real quick. Final Fantasy series. There you go. We might still work on this too. Man, that's... December 5th. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna... F I'm gonna play it, actually. Fantasian Neo Dimension. December 5th. But I'm not gonna play it on Steam, probably. Ooh. I don't want to see that, Sony. I'm good. Moin! <laughs> I don't want to see this fucking game. Have they found Not yet, but they Trailer found see have <laughs> contains scenes from the story, huh? Dragons. I so do not care about this game. <laughs> I'll be completely honest, honest with you, chat. I do not care about this game. We have unfinished business with that dragon. We've tracked right. it to a ruined tower nearby. That lair is a death trap. We need to lure her out to have any chance. So question, how does does this game look worse than the uh than the last Dragon Age game? Just you and me now. Of course they have a girl boss. Everyone. Yep, you came just in time. Get ready! Warders! Ready for listeners! I just want to point out, the last Dragon Age game was 10 years ago. 10. Inquisition was the last one. I just want to put that out there. Come on. Come on. It, it looks like buffed mobile, doesn't it? it? It is... It doesn't look good. One bit. Like... I mean, more power to you. If you, if you enjoy, like, mid-games, by all means, enjoy them, okay? I... I can't be the judge of that, but holy fuck, man, my expectations were low. I have freckles disappearing. <laughs> oh my god. I, I hope they iron that out for the release because that's a little awkward. And the fact that you can't even control your, your, your entire party and yet only rely on your playable character is a bit sad. <laughs> Lol. Burning damage on a dragon. That's cute. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest, I do. I so do not care about this game. Like, like I said, Dragon Age Inquisition was fine. It was not a great entry to the series, but it was fine. 
That that's the that's the most polite way I could put it. It was fine. Combat lacks so much impact. Like, like you're a mage with a blade, right? That's the, the, the everyone that was everybody was praising about, right? I mean, PC, I think PC gamer was the ones who were like, "Yeah, well, you can be a mage, but you can also melee combat, mate." I'm like, I don't care. Like, so, so technically, you can actually command your, car your your companions. You just can't control them. Right. Okay. That makes a lot more sense. I don't know, man. Inquisition feels like an MMO, except f for the DLC where you followed your character. Exactly. Like I said, I so I I'm checked out. Like I'm just watching this. I there's no emotion for me. Like. I'll be perfectly honest with you. If this wouldn't have, wouldn't have been a Dragon Age game. I think my reaction would be a lot different. I would probably feel something. But knowing the knowing that is this is a Dragon Age game makes me feel a little check more checked out than usual. And I'm not trying to be a hater or anything. It's just I so don't give a shit. It's comes out on Halloween even. <laughs> oh no. First time in Bright Falls. Ah, Alan Wake. It's Alan Wake too. It's pro Yep. Knew it. So which one is this one? Is this the control DLC? That's the control DLC, isn't it? Okay. Worshippers of Cthulhu. Yep. You play as a cult, play a cult. Ooh, that sounds way more intriguing. That's, that sounds way more intriguing. The Lake House expansion, October. When though? When? Same demo will drop on the fourteenth. Ooh, okay, I'll check that out. Oh, is this if a Hitman VR? It is Hitman VR, isn't it? Full dual wheel. Yep, this is this is yeah, this is Hitman VR. Intuitive gestures. Okay, that's I'll, I'll definitely give that a shot. Worships of Cthulhu. Okay, let me, let me write that down real quick. Yep, knew it. Worshippers. Few know the truth. Fuck you! Until They're really doing it? Legacy of Kane is back? Uh, Soul Reavers are back? Oh man, come on. Yes. Let's fucking go. It's Whoa.
So this is going to be one and two. Man, I haven't I haven't seen that game in years, man. That's that's insane. It, it looks good though. It's the worst kept secret, but still, <laughs> it, 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 I'm happy it's here. The future has always been written. Ah, Kane, my boy. Don't fight it, Rassia. So this is gonna be blood one and two. Yes, the cemetery. Made by Aspire Legacy as well. Ooh. One and two remastered arrived December 10th, celebrating the 25th anniversary of the first game's release. 25 years. You sure we can't do now I feel games old. Games <laughs> from the original PlayStation era also inspired Fear the Spotlight from Blumhouse Games. It brings atmospheric polygonal scares to PS5 and PS4 on October 22nd. <laughs> Just look at those fucking pixel graphics. Just look at those PS1 home, graphics. Man. I don't mind D makes, but that looked ugly as fuck. <laughs> Build villages and nurture vast ecosystems in Towers of Agazba. Yay, another farming sim game. This or life simulator. This unique creatures, a peculiar cast of characters, and also allows you to invite other players to visit your island. Okay. Hours of Agonza launches into early access this November. Okay. Up next, Epic Games brings a split screen mode to LEGO Fortnite this October. Oh, wow. This feature enables friends and family to explore the world and build villages together while playing on the same PS5 or PS4. Why don't they add that to the actual Fortnite? The new Fortnite Limited Edition DualSense wireless controller arrives later this year with pre orders starting October 3rd. And it's sold out. <laughs> PlayStation blog for more details. Sold out immediately. Next, it's one versus one thousand in Dynasty Warriors Origin. And Let's Kobe go. Techno Games is ready to share the release date. Let's Ooh. take a look. Oh, I'm ready. Show me, Koi Techno. Show me. Guardian of peace. You have crossed paths with men who may one day bring about order. Right. Until then. You must adapt to the chaos and find a way to survive. So choose your path wisely. Go forth and learn what it means to be a hero. You know, I, I, these Dynasty Warrior types games are, are a guilty pleasure of mine. I, I played the One Piece ones. They're pretty good. They're, they're very fun as well. Now here's the question. Will it have split screen co-op? That's the big question. Hail the heroes. Bring peace to the land. The die has been cast. All that remains is to see this through. Fuck yeah. It's like 30 FPS <laughs> right now, but I don't care. EverQuest Landmark, man, that's a... Oof. Best build out there. You could manipulate the voxel engine and do everything. Yeah, what, what, what did they access? Was it getting too expensive, or what was the problem with that one? January 17th... Ooh! That's sooner than I expected. Ooh. Into my mind. Capcom. Monsanto. Oh, Captain, what's your team been getting up to? The guild gave special assignments to some of the other units from the expedition, mine included. Oh, this forest is amazing. Nice. Too costly. Yeah, I, I figured as much. I can't wait to play Monsanto Wilds. I can't wait. This territory. This looks so fucking We're good. Brutus.
I love the, I love that the fact that they show you the player getting his ass kicked by the monster. I love that. Mm, dynamic weather changes, huh? All right. Ooh. Destructible environments, huh? Interesting. That's the new restaurant, barbecue place. You can have multiple pelicos as companions now? Oh, that, that's that's pretty cool. Uh, it's, it says it says uh, the new newest entry. Wilds is going to be the newest uh, monster hunter game. Brand spanking new. Oh boy. Is that what we're after? The white wraith. White wraith. It's the black wraith. We need some true equality here. Seems we must do a more thorough investigation. What is that thing? True equality right there. Oh yeah. Give me that. Fuck yeah. Yeah, <laughs> she's I might actually go for Sword and Shield this time. I haven't played with Sword and Shield uh, in Monster Hunter since uh, Try. Monster Hunter Wilds. Yes, give me that shit. Come on. Give me it. Give it to me. Oh, that's the box art. Whoa, what? End of February. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm down. Guild Knight set and a hope charm. Nice. Digital mini art book. Because of course. Oh, you get a monster to world safe bonus for your f for your palico. And if you have the other one, rise, you get another one. I'm delighted to confirm the game will be go on sale globally on February 28th, 2025. Pre-orders are available today, so go ahead and get yours in now. Players who pre-order on the PlayStation Store will receive a digital mini art book, which can be viewed in your PlayStation 5 console. We'll review more about the game at the TGS 2024 Capcom online program, streaming on September 26th at 7 Pacific PDT. Okay. That's all for me for now. Look out for more news on Monster Hunter Wilds. Goodbye! All right, February twenty eighth, huh? Please don't release anything else in February, please. It's already a fucking packed month. Look at those chompers. Okay, trails. Oh, uh, Lego Horizon. A hunter with a mysterious past and her uh, very heroic friends are all that stands. I so I. Hey, Shamash. Yeah, I don't know, dude. Like, I'm I'm watching this, right? And I'm thinking to myself, like, who's the, why, uh, why, right? Okay, sack boy outfit for A Aloy. <laughs> Wretched. What's the uh, rivet? That's the good. Here's the question: Will we get a hell diver Aloy? Will we get a hell diver Aloy? No, we're not. Of course not. We will get a hell dive uh, uh, astrobot though. We are so excited for everyone to get their hands on Lego Horizon Adventures when it launches on November 14th. And Aloy has more good news on the horizon. Let me guess, Horizon Zero Dawn remastered. Or another DLC. Aloy's original adventure, Horizon Zero Dawn, is being fucking knew it. for PS5 and PC See, by Gorilla and Nick. I'll be honest, if you haven't played the first game, this is fine. You can get this, right? But this is fucking pointless. That's cool, but still. They're gonna sell this at fucking 50 bucks or 40 bucks. If you played the original, 
you can get mods on PC that look way better than this. And anyone who owns the original PS4 version of the game will be able to upgrade to the new PS5 version for $9.99. Ten bucks for a... Fuck off. PlayStation blog for more <laughs> no. And watch the full no. To see Sony, no. This should be free. Fuck no. This, this should be free. New content is on Ooh. the way to the action-packed world of Stellar Blade. What's the Stellar Blade content? Set up Ooh. The perfect picture with your choice of poses photo mo. Oh, filters. fuck off. Yes. Thank you, Shift Up. Thank you. Thank you. Stellar Blade's original soundtrack featuring over 180 songs from the game is available on select streaming services starting today. Yes! Thank you, Jesus. About fucking time. I went to that fucking soundtrack for years. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Sci-fi worlds collide in the Stellar Blade and Near Automata collaboration, coming to Stellar Blade later this year. Dude, I've been waiting for this one. Now let's talk about what's ahead for PlayStation Plus. Ah, uh, they fucking First, did it. They fucking did it. WWE 2K24, Dead Space, and they WWE fucking did Literature it. Club Plus. Thank you, Sony. Well, well thank you, Shift Up, I should say. No, thank you, Sony. Fuck you. <laughs> Meanwhile, our library of PlayStation Plus Whew. continues to right. grow. With two more See? You see the difference of that reaction to the, the one I just had with Dragon Age? Man. Of Kane and Capcom's Dino Crisis. Whoa, 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 Dino wait, 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 wait a minute. September 26th is the Capcom remembers, remembers that Dino, Dino Crisis exists? The acclaimed PS5 hit, The Last of Us Part 1, to the PlayStation Plus game catalog this Thursday. Wait a minute. Capcom remembers Dino Crisis exists. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm okay with that. I'm okay. So what you got here? New controller colors? White. A white controller? Pure white. Oh, I want that one. The green looks cool. Then again... I've got this one, so... I got the God of War one. I'm fine. It's probably part of the uh, PlayStation anniversary. Oh, so you're gonna make more console colors, huh? Huh. Alright. Chroma collection. Alright. Hi, everyone. I'm Mark Cerny. We recently revealed the newest addition to the PlayStation 5 family, the PS5 Pro, alongside several games showcasing the superior frame rates and improved graphics that the new console makes possible. With PS5 Pro, developers have access to three key improvements, an upgraded GPU, advanced mm -hmm. ray tracing, and AI-driven upscaling that combine mm -hmm. to bring developers closer to realizing their unique vision. Don't remember the Concord tax. for players to get their hands on PlayStation 5 Pro when it launches this November. But in the meantime, here's a look at some of the games that are being enhanced for the new console, including okay. a few titles that we're revealing for the very first time today. Let me guess, Spider-Man 3 is going to be there? Because they that was leaked ahead of time? I might need to mute that audio, because that might be copyrighted. That's okay. You won't, might not be able to hear it. There's <laughs> still no 60 FPS. Yeah. Rebirth. Yeah. Horizon Forbidden West, okay. Well, that was a given. Last of Us Remastered, boo. Hogwarts Legacy, hey. Still Blake gets an upgrade. Dragon's Dogma. Jedi Survivor, about damn time. Oh, you saw a sneaky shot. Nice! First Descendants gets an upgrade. Resident Evil Village. Alright. Demon Souls. Resident Evil 4 gets up Nice. Okay. Oh, fuck off. Not Assassin's Creed Shadows. Fuck off. Spider-Man 2. Well, that was a given. Alright, those are the games we already know exist. So what are the new ones? 
None of these were new though. I'll stand corrected. Ghost of Tsushima 2? Is it Ghost of Tsushima? Oh yeah, that looks like Ghost we of Tsushima. Are beyond the edge of Japan. Yep, that's Ghost of Tsushima. People come north to disappear. Yep, that's Ghost of Tsushima 2. Ghost 2, yep. Oh, it also Rise of the Ronin. Hey, Sakai Mongoos. Releasing a teaser for Game of GOT2 while Assassin's Creed Shadows has yet to come out. That's some... That's some top-tier savagery right there. <laughs> I mean... I mean, I'll be honest. I would rather play Ghost of Tsushima over and over again than playing Assassin's Creed Shadows. How you doing, buddy? This looks so fucking good. Look at that. Okay, apparently you're you have a female protagonist. What? Watch me getting bamboozled, and this is actually Assassin's Creed. But no, it isn't. Fuck yeah, baby! Oh my god, they they did it. The fucking Matlands did it. A properly animated horse. I know, right? Oh yeah, this is... Oh yeah. This is Ghost of Tsushima. Fuck yeah, baby. I, I need more of this shit. This is going to be more respectful than uh, Assassin's Creed Shadows will ever be. Now the question is, can you pet the wolf? Can you pet the wolf? So the wolf is going to be your companion, it seems. Cool. You could tell from the musical cue that it was a Ghost of Tsushima. It was a Sucker Punch game. The, because it, the Ghost of Tsushima soundtrack has a very specific sound to it. Ghost of Yotai. Nice. Oh, fuck yeah. Give me... Next year. What? Okay. I am more than okay with that. I am more than okay with that. Yep. Time to play Ghost of Tsushima again. You know what? On the release day of Assassin's Creed Ghosts, I'm going to be replaying Ghost of Tsushima. And I'm just going to title it The Actual Assassin's Creed Shadows. I'm not going to I'm, I'm, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding you. I will do that. So yeah. Um, let me go back to that announcement of the Nia collaboration because I'm curious about that one. Let's see. Uh, can we still a blade near? <laughs> Top tier trolling, right? <laughs> I, I will fucking do it. I will fucking do it. Right. Let's let, let's look at this shit. I want to see that again. For those who don't know, I'm a massive sucker for Nia, so this is like Christmas coming early. Photo mode, yep. I'm gonna get the fucking soundtrack though. I'm gonna get the fucking soundtrack. Toxic reviews is good, I like that too. The music is way too good to be contained to just Spotify. Fuck yeah, baby. Oh, man. 
Oh man. So this shit gives me goosebumps. <laughs> just just listening to the musical cue, man. This is what Nier does to me, guys. It's coming soon. Stella Nier Automata. I see what you did there, Yoko Taro. I, I saw you tweeting earlier, you cheeky bastard. <laughs> I see you tweeting earlier. All right. Um, yeah, so that was that. Overall, pretty uh, underwhelming presentation. But I temper my expectations low enough as is because why would I even think that Sony would get a W so soon after flopping so fucking hard? Yeah, they announced three different PlayStation colors as for the console with a chromish design, which is okay, I guess. We get a Horizon Zero Dawn remastered, looking just like um, Forbidden West. I mean, for those who haven't played the original, cool. I'm happy for you, but meh. Ghost of Yotai, that's, that's the biggest one. I'm like, man, I did not expect that to be there, but here we go. Took them long enough, and I'll, I'll be honest, I'm okay with them taking their time with Ghost of Your Type because this game is gonna blow Assassin's Creed Shadows out the fucking water. I'm not even kidding. And Soul Reaver coming back, fuck yeah! And Pal World is on PlayStation Five as of today. That's pretty cool. I like that. Um, what else do we have? We have Monster Hunter Wilds, a new trailer. Dynasty Warriors having a f finally having a, new, a, a release date. So that's pretty fun. I mean, it only took them 25 years to remaster fucking uh, Soul Reaver, but that's beside the point. But we got so Soul Reaver 1 and 2. I've been waiting to replay those games for years. I kid you not. Like, years. can't wait for ghost of uh, yotai this is fucking savage by the way like dropping that shit right before assassin's creed shadow co shadows comes out supposedly in the hump day chin wag just said the real <laughs> um assassin's creed shadows just dropped <laughs> And we get a Turtles DLC, the Fantasian game, uh, Neo Dimension, is coming out in de December. Imagine if they would drop the same day. Oh, that would be funny, but uh, Ubisoft would have to delay the game a whole lot. Then again, they have not done any press dates recently because of the fucking PR nightmare that they they put themselves into. With the utter disrespect of the w victims of the Nagasaki uh, atom bomb incident. So, yeah. Oh boy, well, I'm I'm happy. Uh, I'll get more Stellar Blade stuff, and I'm gonna put Eve in a two B costume. I'm very fucking happy. <laughs> this is this is like Christmas coming early for me, dude. I am very fucking happy. So yeah.